Hey everybody, Thrifty Teresa here. It is Friday, time for another weekly sales report. Um, I had five orders this week, uh, which is the same as last week, I believe. Um, six items sold, because one person bought two things in my uh, Etsy shop. You'll see that in a minute. I've made little videos of each item that sold before I packaged them up. I really like that format and I hope you do too. Um, as far as numbers go, um, for the most part everything I sold was a, you know, pretty inexpensive item. Uh, so my total net profit, this is after fees, after shipping, after cost of goods, etc, etc. My total profit for the week was $41.31. Uh, that is an average of $8.26 per order. Um, that is lower than last week. Uh, last week my per order profit was $12.68. So of course I want to keep in increasing that. Um, I had some really good sales on Amazon uh, this week, but I'm not going to bother with a serious Amazon update. But I will say Amazon was doing considerably better <laughs> than eBay and Etsy. But let's go ahead and show you the videos and see what I sold, and I will talk to you guys later in the week. Bye! All right, first sale this week is coming from eBay. It is a workout DVD, Pilates for inflexible people. I should probably keep this for myself, but it's going to go to somebody who's actually going to use it. I hope. Fingers crossed. Okay, my next sale uh, came from Etsy. Uh, these are listed in my vintage shop, but these are actually uh, beads, which of course are listed under craft supplies. These are surplus beads of beads that I'm not using um, in my handmade shop. I've had these beads sitting around for years and I figured I would sell them. Uh, you may see uh, on Etsy people use the word de-stash when they're talking about getting rid of their craft supplies. So for example, these beads are listed as de-stash beads because at one time or another they were in my stash of crafting supplies, but I don't want them anymore. So they have been de-stashed and they will now go to somebody who will use them. So this person bought a big lot of black beads. Um, there's almost 11 ounces of black beads in here. Most of them are glass beads. Almost all of them are glass beads. And they bought that for $10.99. And then this is a smaller bag of uh, three and a half ounces of silver and gray beads all sorts of various shapes and sizes. So hopefully these beads will go to a good home. Oh, the silver beads sold for $3.99. I was doing it by the ounce. So again, the big bag was over 10 ounces, almost 11 ounces, so that sold for $10.99. This one was over three ounces and it sold for $3.99. So I'm gonna ship these out. All right, next thing that I sold is another VHS tape. This is one of the worst movies in the world and one of the best movies in the world. It's Showgirls. Uh, this is such a terrible movie that it is amazing. Um, it's really become one of those cult classics where you and your friends can just quote all the stupid things in this movie and you watch it on TV and yell at the television and it's just so dumb. And I absolutely love it. Somebody else must like it too because they just bought it on VHS. Nice sealed VHS. $5.99 on eBay plus shipping. Okay, I just sold this item and I'm a little confused because it just sold on Bonanza. <laughs> now, I was playing with the Bonanza website a couple weeks ago. I uploaded my eBay items and my Etsy items to it. I didn't like the format. It also changed the price of my eBay listings. So this thing sold for $10.39, which is a really weird price because I did not have that listed that way on eBay. Also, last week 
I went on Bonanza and thought I closed my shop. So this just sold on Bonanza. <laughs> Anyway, a sale's a sale. Fine, I'll take it. It wasn't selling on eBay. Um, I've actually listed it more than once. I got this early in January for what I figured would be the New Year's resolution fitness craze. So, fine, somebody will use it. I'll take $10.36 or whatever. <laughs> uh, but it's just weird. So I'm going to have to go into Bonanza and manually delete everything because I don't want any more surprises like this. And I'm simply not happy with the Bonanza format. But hey, thanks for the sale, lady. Hope you like it. This is a rosary bracelet from my handmade shop. Uh, it's got these baby blue beads toggle clasp, little crucifix, and uh, holy metal. Get it to focus there. Aren't they cute? Very cute. Um, again, this is a, called a single decade rosary, um, also known as a chaplet. Uh, a chaplet is a set of prayer beads that are in a configuration other than a standard rosary, uh, but this has the 10 beads for the Hail Mary and one larger fancy bead uh, for the Our Father prayer. Uh, when I package up my handmade goods for Etsy, I always include it in a little organza bag so that it is presented nicely. I also include a thank you card. Uh, this one is of a religious nature since I am selling a religious item. In my other Etsy shop, I just include basic thank you cards without the religious stuff. Um, and I include uh, both of my business cards, one for my uh, rosary shop, one for my vintage shop. And um, the, it's very minimal amount of money to include these things uh, with the purchase, but I think it makes it so much nicer for the customer. And a lot of my feedback mentions how nice it was packaged and usually also mentions uh, a thank you card, which I, I write in. I handwrite a little message in there. Anyway, so this sold from my handmade shop and this sold for $12 plus shipping.